Hello, hello, hello. I'm Chris from wisecleaner.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to optimize a slow Windows computer. If you are a Windows user, I believe you have noticed that your computer gets slower and slower over time. That's a pain in the ass. Now, I will just cut to the chase and show you several effective ways to optimize, to tune up your Windows computer. The first step is to manage the power options of your computer. First, open control panel and select all control panel items. Then you go to power options and make sure high performance, make sure this option is selected. High performance plan maximize screen brightness and can increase system performance in some circumstances. Of course, you can turn the brightness down a little bit if it's too bright for you. I must remind you that high performance also comes with high power consumption. The second step is uninstall program that you need. If you check your computer right now, you may find some programs like toolbars, games, or some software you don't even know when or how they go there. These programs are consuming precious system resources. If you don't need them, all you need to do is go to control panel and click uninstall a program and remove this program from your computer, saving some precious system resources. Step 3. Clean up the registry. The registry is a database that uh, stores and configures information about system programs and uh, third-party applications. Practically, everything you do in Windows is recorded somewhere in the registry. It constantly changes the values of entries or creates new entries, but never removes them after they are no longer needed. Accumulation of these invalid registry can lead to a slow computer and even a system crash. Now, I'll show you how to clean up the registry. First, go to wisecleaner.com wisecleaner.com and open the downloads page. Then download and uh, install WestCare 365 free. Since I have already have it in my computer, now I'll just open it. Okay, click, click the System Cleaner tab. Now you can see the first one is Registry Cleaner. Click Scan. Now it's scanning for invalid registry and re registry errors. Twenty-three problems found. Clean. Now the registry is cleaned up. The good thing about this feature is it automatically backs up the registry every time before cleaning. If you want to go back to the previous point in case anything goes wrong, you can just click Restore and choose the previous point, and then click Restore. Now the restore is complete. It's very simple and safe. Step 4. Delete the junk files in your computer. Files like Internet Browsing History, Windows System Temporary Files, they take up disk space and also slow down your computer. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean them up. Also, open WiseCare 365. Click System Cleaner and choose the second one, Common Cleaner. Common Cleaner scans your computer for temporary files and other unnecessary system files and then delete them to free up space and also speed up your computer. Click Scan, oh, very fast, and then Clean. Now your computer is free of junk files. And you can see here, the Common Cleaner also cleans the traces in your computer. By doing this, your privacy gets protected. Step 5. Defrag your computer drive. 
If you are using a solid state drive, you can just skip this step because defragging it will just do more harm than good. If you're using a hard disk drive, you should defrag the hard drive on a regular basis. Why is that? Because in your hard drive, the data is stored in a scattered way. Defragmenting the hard drive is getting this data organized so that your computer can read or access this data in a faster way. Let me put it this way. Uh, here is a big table in front of me. It's cluttered with all kinds of stuff, uh, like uh, clothes, cell phones, food, toys, such a mess. If I throw these things out, I get these things organized. Uh, I mean, I put the cell phone here, put the toys here, and I put the clothes here, and the other stuff here. I get these things organized. It will be much easier for me to find the things I want, right? So, defragging your hard drive is kind of like that. Now, I will show you how to defrag your hard drive. Click the System Tune-Up tab and then click Disk Defrag. Make sure you select all partitions in your hard drive and then click Defragment. Some may wonder there is a Disk Defrag tool built in Windows. Why would I install a third-party software? I can tell you this, this one here is much, much faster than the one in Windows. It saves you a lot of time. It has three options. Defragment. Defragment will concatenate fragmented files into one chunk to accelerate file reading speed. For optimization, we will defragment the drive and rearrange all files to free up disk space. Analyze will only analyze the drive and show you the disk fragments. You can choose any option according to your own need. Step 6. Manage startup items. Many programs and services start automatically when Windows starts. That's pretty helpful if you use them a lot. But for programs you rarely or never use, they waste a precious memory and slow your computer down. Now I will show you how to manage them. In System Tune-Up section, click Startup Manager. Here you can manage all the startup items. And the Startup tab are all the startup programs. And the Services tab are all the services in Windows. You can disable or enable any of them by single clicking it. Just like this. Disabled, enabled. Very simple. But it's kind of hard for a normal user to decide what services to disable, what not to. No biggie. For all the Windows services, Startup Manager has suggestions whether to disable them. You can just follow these suggestions here. For the third part services, you can just refer to its ratings and reviews, and then decide whether to disable them. After managing these startup items, you will also see an improvement in boot up speed. Step 7. Run only the necessary programs at the same time. It is more of a habit thing. Many times we keep on running a lot of programs at the same time. If you check them, you may find that you don't need some of them at all. Sometimes changing the behavior of using your PC can also benefit getting better performance. If your computer is slowing down, you can open the process monitor in WASCARE 365. Click System Monitor. The first one, this one is the process monitor. Here you can see all the programs running in your computer. Both programs you can see and programs running in the background. Then you can check do you really need to keep them running at the same time. And then close the ones you don't need by clicking this cross mark. Very simple. Okay, that's it. Uh, hope you like this video. Feel free to leave comments. Let me know if these tips help you optimize your computer. Okay, see you next time.